Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, also, thank you so much, Zandashay, for curating such great music to get us through um, these breaks. It's been such a joy to have that in the background. Um, I'd also uh, like to thank Marin Scott, who is um, our colleague who's managing the chat function today on Zoom. Please use the chat. Um, this is here for y'all to make connections with one another, to contribute to the conversation, um, and to keep up. So thank you to Marin for, um, for managing the chat. And again, thank you to Lynn Sylvan, whose name I bungled this morning um, in our introduction. I apologize for that, Lynn. But Lynn is our amazing tech director who is behind the scenes managing all of the Zoom tech. Um, thank you so much to um, Marin and Lynn for making all this happen. Uh, next up, uh, with South Summit 2022, we have the first in a series of artist showcases that we'll be presenting over the next couple of days. And this one features incredible artist, uh, Jose Torres Tama. Um, Jose is an Ecuadorian born and award-winning interdisciplinary troublemaker, speaking truth to the perverse abuse of power in what he calls the United States of amnesia. He is a published poet and playwright, performance and visual artist, and his creative arsenal includes spoken word, short films, photography, and journalism. His taco truck theater on wheels received a map fund and the experimental documentary film, This Taco Truck Kills Fascists by Rodrigo Dorfman, which starred Jose and documented his art, won the Louisiana uh, Feature Jury Award at the 2018 New Orleans Film Festival. From 2006 to 2011, he contributed post-Katrina commentaries for NPR's Latino USA and his acclaimed Aliens, Immigrants and Other Evildoers performance has sold out theaters in Houston, Minneapolis and Los Angeles. We are so excited to welcome Jose to the stage for a special presentation. Take it away, Jose. Orale, orale, orale. Hello, people in Zoomlandia. All right. Uh, thank you for that introduction. And I want to thank uh, Zendaye for all the support and all of you behind the scenes there as I gather myself to throw down. So this is my persona in my new show called United States of Amnesia. And this is a sort of satirical Uncle Juan, if you will. Uh, it's got a little bit of a David Bowie influence. I'm a big David Bowie fan, right? So it's got a little bit of a glam rock feeling, but the star and the flag and a little blue glitter to bring out that red, white, red, white and blue. So here we go. Uh, this, is kind of, this is an excerpt. This is the opening excerpt of United States of Amnesia. This is my staging area where I have performed many Zoom shows across the country to universities like um, UCLA, uh, Maryland University up, 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 up north in the DC area, and um, a couple of others, CSUN University of Memphis. So uh, in the background are my paintings. Um, the large piece was part of a, a Joan Mitchell resident residency, uh, residency recently. So here we go. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I am brown, therefore I am suspect. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I am brown, therefore I am suspect, even during Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I am labeled immigrant, therefore akin to a terrorist. I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I speak my mind to the perverse abuse of power in United States of Amnesia, therefore I am considered un-American, unpatriotic, a loud ass Latino. Uh, I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I take a knee on bloody flag of white supremacy and disguise it as performance art. Uh, I'm on my way, hey, 
Hey, I'm on my way. I take a metaphoric knee on the publication by the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities that published their tricentennial anthology in 2018. They disappeared our Latin American community. And we, we gave our blood. We, we gave our love. We, we gave our labor to rebuild New Orleans post-Katrina in the near 17 years since that storm. Uh, you have to understand how traumatic it is to see how white scholars can make us invisible in their current books of local history. Can I get a witness? Can I get an amen? Can I get a si se puede from Dolores Huerta? Again, I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. The Louisiana number for the inhumanities in their post katrina chapter title renewal, they disappeared our people as if we did not even exist, as if we did not do the reconstruction or part of the heavy epic resurrection of New Orleans post storm. I've been holding them accountable for four years and all I get is silence as if I'm gonna go away. <laughs> as if I haven't written already to its director, to its ED, and you can Google her and see how we have been disappeared. But we, we gave our love, we gave our labor, we gave our blood to rebuild New Orleans post Katrina. And it's traumatic to see how easily white scholars can make us invisible in their books of current local history. The Louisiana Endowment for the Inhumanities. Ugh. I throw that book down, but damn, I gotta keep it in good shape because it's a natural library book that I got to bring back. Uh, I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. I am Latino, therefore I am passionate. I am Latino, therefore I am caliente. I am Latino, therefore I am bloody hot. Así que watchale canales gringolandia because I'm watching you. Uh, I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. I often speak Spanish to confuse gringo audiences. Therefore, I'm a pain. I'm a pain. I'm a pain in the derriere of monolingual gatekeepers and hegemonic epistemologies. Uh, I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. I often use big words. I often use big words. I often use big words. Therefore, I am superfluous. I'm on my way. Hey, hey. I'm on my way. How long? How long will white? How long will white? How long will white wokeness last? How long will white wokeness last? When defeated loser, when defeated loser, hater in chief still has white millions. White millions, loyal blind nationals willing to die of COVID. Who worship is want to be dick? Who worship is want to be dick? Who worship is want to be dictator ways? Can I get a witness? Can I get an amen? Can I get a si se puede from Dolores Huerta again? I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. Uh. January 6, 2022. First anniversary. White terrorists stormed. White terrorists stormed the Capitol. White terrorists stormed Capitol barricades. White terrorists defecated in halls of democracy. White terrorists paraded Confederate flags in the rotunda. White terrorists chased a black man officer like a, a new millennium reenactment of Jim Crow. Tulsa killings massacre when lynchings was the white supremacy expression against anyone who challenged their vitriol. Uh, I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. How long? How long will white wokeness last? How long will white wokeness last? How long will white wokeness last? We, we hold, we hold these truths. We hold these truths to be self-evident. If black, brown, indigenous, Asian, Muslim, Americans stormed the Capitol barricades, we, we would have become, we would have become, we would have become a Gatling gun massacre, a new millennium wounded knee because we are not free. We are not free from blue Klu Klux Klan terror, blue Klu Klux Klan terror, blue Klu Klux terror, 
blue Ku Klux Klan terror still killing black and brown people with impunity, even after George Floyd died by knee of white supremacy. Uh, I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I am brown, therefore I am suspect all the time. I am an immigrant, therefore I've been labeled a terrorist. And our immigrant people have been dying in COVID infested jails across rural Louisiana in towns like Pine Prairie, Jenna, LaSalle, where these ICE detention centers, these ICE jails paid by your tax dollars are keeping our immigrant asylum seekers detained and COVID has spread and people have died, but because of the pandemic, very few legal advocates or families have been allowed to come and bear witness to the death of our people dying. Let's dare to remember, uh, I'm on my way, hey, hey, I'm on my way. I started out in college, therefore I'm unemployed. I dare to speak my mind. I dare to speak my mind in the United States of amnesia. Therefore, I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel without applause. Uh, I'm on my way. Hey, hey, I'm on my way. Uh, uh. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that woke you up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jose, for, for sharing your voice and your art with us today. Thank you for speaking your mind. Thank you for always speaking your mind. And thank you for your activism and for all that you contribute to this larger community of artists in the region. It's, it's truly an honor to have you involved with this year's South Summit. I'm grateful. Um, and please know that it's very important for our audiences nationally to know that Latin American people have had a long legacy here. The slave trade, the slave, the brutal slave trade included Havana, New Orleans, and Veracruz. There was a slave triangle. So there have been there have been legacies and centuries of trade between Havana and New Orleans and the influence of Cuba and New Orleans Latin music and the influence of Latin people. We have the biggest Honduran community in the United States outside of Honduras. In fact, it's almost a joke to many people that we have more Hondurans now mostly living in Kenner than the capital of Tegucigalpa in Honduras themselves, right? So it's very important for people to understand that we didn't just arrive post-storm. I've been here since college, since 1984, but I've been living here for 250 years. This is just my new incarnation. So it's important for people to understand that we have a long Latin legacy. Yes, more of us came in, more, especially undocumented immigrants came in and rebuilt the city. And it's tragic when you have a state arts agency like the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities that disappeared us in the 2018 Tricentennial Anthology. I've been holding them accountable, but it's gonna, it's gonna come their way because activism is about continuously, continuously, continuously holding accountable the people that have done us wrong and egregious, awful cultural crime to disappear us out of the local history. That's my timer for 10 minutes. So uh, I just always <laughs> like to be on time, but there's always a lot to experience. But for those of you who are experiencing, know that the Latin legacy in New Orleans is long, in fact, it's a lie to call it the French Quarter. It's really the Spanish Quarter. There were two fires in the late 1700s, like seven years apart, that actually eradicated and, and burned the entire French wooden colonial architecture. The only thing that's left of that French wooden original settlement is Madame John's legacy at the corner of Royal and Domain. And the rest was built by Spanish colonials, free people of color, and enslaved African people. So it's the Spanish Quarter. And one of the, one of the jobs that I have to do as as a performance artist is point out the lies. It's really the Spanish quarter. There's nothing French about it except for that one colonial structure because the Spanish, knowing the circumstance of the weather, and they were here from 1761 to 1803, the Spanish built with brick, mortar, and plaster. And again, built with enslaved African people and Creoles of color. So thank you for having me here. Thank you for, uh, 
allowing me to have the voice. I create. Uh, I continue to create short films and I'm working on one because I've been filming and documenting the stories of the epic reconstruction here, uh, basically since I began doing those post Katrina commentaries back in 2006. So I have about 10 years worth of filming uh, of a new project that I'm creating called Hard Living in the Big Easy about our immigrant people and the reconstruction. And the fact that right now, post Ida, who is repairing all the roofs? Right, so let's there to remember. So thank you very much, Clint Zenda Zendashe. Thank you, all of you out there. Gracias, se lo agradezco. I have a tendency to slide into Spanish, but Gringolandia, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of the Spanish language because tostitos are here to stay. Thank you again, Jose. And, and for that reminder that the South is not black and white. It is so much more than that. 